German, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Rich. Uh, glad to be here. First time uh, caller. What do you got for me today? Uh, is it is it German or German? Like, how do you pronounce that? Uh, German, just like the language. It's easier oh, okay. to go. Interesting. You know. Okay. It's a uh, Spanish. So it's German, but German. Okay. German's easier to remember. <laughs> Let's go with that German. Okay. What do you got for me, bro? So, uh, I'm calling just because, like, lately I've been having issues. Um, it's more like. I guess something that you had said earlier is that maybe I'm too entitled. Mm -hmm. And I find that I kind of trip over myself whenever I approach women. Sometimes I lose interest. Like I've seen my buddy who's, you know, like a bodybuilder. He gets it. He always gets women that come to him. They touch yeah. him. They interact the conversation. And I've been trying to elicit that, yeah. you know, like I'll, I'll dress nice. Um, you know, I try to act a certain way and kind of watch myself, but I guess one example is this weekend I went to a concert and this woman kept putting herself in my orbit. She kept bumping into me, but never once approached me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I, I just, sometimes I forget what to do and I just enjoy the moment and I don't do it. So she bumps into you and then does what? Does she look at you and say, sorry, or does she just carry on? This one didn't, this one didn't. She was playing hard to get. <laughs> so, I, I mean, so let me ask you this question. She bumps into you in a social event she's attractive. You think she's hot. What do you do next? Like what would be a better way to handle it than just, oop, and you just keep going. Like what, like what could you do? Well, you put on the charm, talk to him, smile, put on uh, the charm. You know, you don't have to bump into me if you want to talk to me, sweetheart. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's the second time. That's not a coincidence. Hey, I'm rich. How you doing? Yeah. All right. And you just kind of uh, roll from there. So my, my question is, how do I get into that mindset? Because sometimes, like, for example, it, it'll be the weekend. I'll get all excited, want to hang out with the boys. And then somehow over time as I get there, I just forget. And then I lose it. And I just get caught up in the moment. And then I shift mindsets. So and, and I, OK, so like the mindset shift is what the PUAs, like all of these guys that sell courses about dating and buy my course and I'll do field this and that and take you out and show you how to pick up girls. It's rather than mindset it and turn it on and off, just become the game. Whenever you're at a bank at the cashier and you're checking out, just flirt with a girl. It's called catch and release. It's just, you know, yes. keeping your game up, right? It's like you don't have any intention like. It could be a 40 year old gross chick that you're not even, you know, like attracted to, but you're at the checkout, you know, she looks at you, you know, Hey, how's your day? Whatever. Do you need a bag? But <laughs> whatever she says, who cares? Just flirt with yeah. her a little bit. Right. So yeah. you're not having to turn it on and off and have to deal with like the inhibition of being charming or whatever. Just always be charming. Right. Because, I mean, if that's in your scope of, of things and, and if that's what you want to do, you want to put yourself in an environment where you're exposed to beautiful women and they are going to start responding to you. My advice wouldn't be like, you know, just turn it on and off whenever you're out partying with your friends or going somewhere. It's just do it all the time. You're at the bank. You know, the teller is cute. Say something. Yeah, just become it. Just become the game. Yeah. I get that. I am the game. You know, that's that's what you have to become. It's it's a lot harder to turn off, turn things on and off. It's like trying to turn on, you know, good diet and lifestyle habits. And then like one week, you know, you've got it down pat. Your diet's right. You're working out. Your sleep's on par. And then the next week you don't sleep at all. You eat like shit. You're, you're smashing back donuts, drive through food, right? Like it's better just to be consistent most of the time. Yeah, and, yeah, and to try to turn it on whenever it's convenient for you. Yeah, I like that. I think uh, that's kind of something where I've been halting. Try that. I've been slacking. I've been practicing. I've not been practicing enough. Like I do okay at online dating apps, and we'll get date. Um, sometimes second. Sometimes we we'll even hook up. So but, imagine how much better you'll be on real date environments if you're charming and you become the game everywhere and everything you do. You have a job to go yeah. to. There's a receptionist. You go to the dental office. The hygienist is working on you. Little flirt. It's not going to hurt anybody. Who cares? Yeah. Maybe she's married. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's got a boyfriend. Maybe she doesn't. Who cares? Maybe it turns into a date just because you're so charming. You never know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> I, uh, I had another one where my buddy just tried to introduce me to a girl and I was so like dumbfounded. I was just like cheers and didn't really talk to her the rest of the mm -hmm. night. And she approached me a second time. She said, do you want to go upstairs? And 
in my mind, I knew that it was like a $20 cover. So I didn't, I just said no. And then that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. I just get, uh, yeah. My advice is just, is just, is just be the game all the time, my man. That's it. Yeah. That's all cool. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Rich. See you, buddy. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.